start tonight with the Miss America pageant. It was a close competition. Here in Mississippi, many pulling for hometown favorite Jasmine Murray. 16 WAPT's Hadass Brown is in Clinton at a watch party. Hadass. Tammy, some disappointed fans here tonight. There was so much excitement earlier as Miss Mississippi made it to the top ten, but then not the top five. But of course, everyone here tonight still says that they consider her a winner. Fans watched anxiously, waiting to see if Miss Mississippi Jasmine Murray would bring the big crown to the Magnolia State. My daughter graduated from high school with Jasmine in Mississippi School of the Arts, so we're so excited to be able to hear and cheer for her from here. She's just such an, a, an incredible young lady to represent our state. She's so well spoken, she's so talented. And Murray's talent showed as she made it to the top 15 and then the semifinals. Miss Mississippi Jasmine Murray. And she's a genuinely sweet, sweet girl. You know, if you've ever met her, spent any time with her, she's true to who she is, she's kind, and she always, always gives a nice, warm smile. Ashley Thompson worked closely with Murray as her prep team coordinator. We prepare to the best of her ability, and we put it in the hands of the judges, and we're all so proud of her. So as long as she's happy, we're happy. As Murray graced the national stage, fans in Mississippi agreed no matter what the outcome, she's a winner. She comes home with the next best. Crown, Miss Mississippi. I mean, it's a wonderful, wonderful spot to be in. And the big winner, the new Miss America, is Miss New York. And again, Miss Mississippi did not make it to the top five, but she did make it to the top ten. Everyone here so proud of her. Congratulations, Jasmine Murray. Live in Clinton, Hadass Brown, 16, WAPT News. That's right. We're very, very proud of our own Jasmine Murray. And of course, Miss New York, for the third time, grabbed that crown.